Alright, I think we're, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Thank you all for coming. Um, I think there's, an, there's another good session going, and I think some folks have started leaving as well, so that's okay. We got, uh, we'll have a little bit more intimate discussions with the, with the ones that are here. I'm on channel one, so if everybody, I noticed that it seems like there was uh, no way, every, every session I walked into, no one knew a channel, so I th went ahead and threw an ob obligatory channel number up there for you. <laughs> And some of you may or may not know me, but uh, my name is Todd Penny, and I'm the product manager here at Turning Technologies. And I, I work very closely with research and development, and I work very closely with our end users, kind of, kind of like the bridge between the two. And um, my, my job description is, is basically to go out to, to the end user and find out what is working, what isn't working, and how can we make our product better. And if you ever want to get in touch with me, I, I, I always provide my contact information at every talk I do. So feel free to either drop me an email or, or a phone call. Email is always the best way, especially if I'm traveling. And really all, all we're going to cover here is, is, well, let me rephrase that. We're going to cover two things but just recognizing the past, and that was our, our current product, which is, which is what everyone is using, Turning Point 2006. The present, it's what's under development. That's what our present needs are, and Turning Point 4.0, which is kind of our internal name for it, um, Don, Don stated, our, he's our Vice President of Research Development, it'll probably be called Turning Point 2008. Um, but that's the present, and the future is beyond that, and that's once, that's it's as soon as we have completed development of this version that's going to be released this summer, that is, that's what we're going to be working on. And we already have some things planned in the future, but there's still a lot of, a, a lot of room for, for adding some, some more items to that. And I'd like to hear some of your feedback. And if I could just get you to go ahead and let me know which group you are a member of. There's three of us, so I better, or three of you, or four, and the other two I already know, so I want all of your feedback. We're on channel one in case you haven't, uh, in case you weren't sure which channel we're on. Here, do you need one that's already set? You can use mine. I've already got this one. Here, go ahead and you can use this one. Not happy. <laughs> That's okay. It should be set already, yep. There we go. Okay, so we don't have any faculty here. Everyone's on the administration side. And this, is, this will involve, I'm, I'm not going to throw 20 questions at you. This will involve just some, some basic open discussion. I'd, a lot of the, the goal of this is to is to hear what you have to say. And I can't predict what you're going to say So, in a turning point question. So present, we've, most of us have already implemented. I know Lorna has, and have the two of you already implemented? You, I know you're already using turning point. Um, there's, these are some of the challenges that we have right now. And I think the number one challenge is easily associating a student with a device ID. Does, do you, does everyone agree with that? I think that's it's it's a pretty tough challenge. We're we're going we're working towards ways to make that easier. Um, but for right now, it is maintaining an accurate and up-to-date participant list. That's a challenge, especially in higher education, where you have these these classes and these they're they're constantly changing for the first four to six weeks. Getting all students on the same channel when they walk into class. Uh, just from my observations of sitting at, at some universities, that seems to be a challenge. Response confirmation. I know our current keypad doesn't provide any of that. It gives a green light, but that green light it doesn't really give you enough information to, to be able to determine if your response was actually received. And then I'd like to hear some of yours. Lauren, what's, what's your number one challenge? The cost of the clicker. The cost of the clicker? Okay. And since there's only a few of us, do you have another one you'd like to add?
How to get started? Sure. We'll say getting started at the start of class. Okay. Well, we can always talk about that offline, but I, I'd be interested to hear how, how they're currently doing it. And how about for, for the two of you? The fear of technology? Yeah. That's probably a big Sure. Well, what about in actually implementing it, uh, using it? What, what are some of your challenges? Well, for me, I, I just started using it in January. Well, that's for good. You're a perfect candidate for this question. Um, I don't know. Maybe because it seems um, very logical in, in how you do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if any challenges I've necessarily come up with. So you're, do, you're, 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 doing, pretty, you're doing pretty much okay, yeah. at least within the the confines of how you're using it. Right. And how about for you? We have not settled on one company. Ah, ah, you're still in the decision making phase. So uh, so you can't develop a challenge until you until you know who you oh, which one you're going to use. Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah, we can real good at developing challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any right offhand? Um, like for example, one of the things that that I just experienced, okay, if this was a two-way Mhm. Mm Yeah. I would feel much more comfortable in uh, relying upon the uh, administrative features that you want to ask people to use. Sure. Like the attendance, like the, uh, I mean, you know, then, that, uh, then it's something you can put as a responsibility on the student that they... Yeah, you can't make them accountable unless they have confidence that what they're doing is, right. is working, right? And so I think that that's an important piece. I also think that having listened to everybody talk about battery, 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 um, rechargeable batteries would be nice. Yeah, we looked, just so you know, and I, this qu it's funny, that question just came up out, outside of here prior to the session. We looked into some kind of rechargeable unit, but the cost that it would have added to the device, uh, it would have essentially made it or taken it out of the realm of being cost effective for higher education. It would have added a considerable amount of cost to it. Um, Thirty to forty dollars per per unit. Yeah, you're 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 right. And, and what we've done, because what we found is we we went out and did some market research, and we found that if we broke this price barrier that that we set, mm -hmm. that the appeal of the device, the actual, it, it would just due to the cost, it'd be very cost restrictive. 2008 I think our costs are going to be, and that's a good question, is I think our costs are going to be fairly similar to what we are currently offering. We haven't actually determined what that cost is going to be, but I can guarantee you it will probably be within 10% of the current cost. It may, it, may, it may, there's a chance it may even be less. It will probably, and this is what um, our CEO has informed us, it will probably be no more than 10% more of the cost of our current units, if it does even go up. Are those types of systems that are proprietary based on, let's say, a particular publisher? They, they, they will not be. But on those systems, uh -huh. I think one of our issues would be, uh, do you offer any particular translation package so that Oh, uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by pri proprietary, but what I can tell you is we do work with publishers, and there will be content from those textbooks that can be can actually be delivered through the student response system to the students. And real quick, just on that battery issue, we do have a, we will have a battery indicator on the device on the new device at all times, because we did realize what you just described the importance of students b being able to know how much battery life they have. Well, yeah. I mm -hmm. can Absolutely, absolutely. My next question is, is 
this is something, and I, I was talking with our vice president of R&D, who's actually in the room last night, and we, we, we've, so far we haven't seen, and it, it's a good thing, we haven't seen anything that just stands out that we absolutely have to change in our software f thus far. Is there anything that you have, that you would say we must have, we have an immediate need for it right now? 